Hi everybody and welcome to another episode with the Anxious Resistance. Today I'm going to be talking about something called inositol and how this might benefit you with your mental health. So inositol is actually a sugar alcohol. So it's something that's kind of a mix between a carbohydrate and like some other foods. It's kind of like a very particular and unique type of energy source for the body. Much of inositol uh, that's found in the body is actually found in the brain and it helps increase neurotransmitters like serotonin which is linked to things like anxiety and depressive disorders um, as many of you know so there is a fair amount of evidence behind the use of inositol for anxiety depression so i'm going to share with you a few of the studies um, about inositol um, first one here myoinositol imbalance is observed in psychiatric diseases and its use shows efficacy for treatment of depression, anxiety, and compulsive disorders. That was um, an article that I will link down below for you that you can read. Another one says, uh, our results suggest that inositol may be beneficial for depressed patients, especially those with PMDD. The main limitation of this report is that a small number of studies were included in this meta-analysis. So that just kind of might mean that it, it needs more studies behind it. And another one here, um, and this is for panic disorder. Palatnik and others examined inositol as compared to fluvoxamine in the treatment of patients with panic disorder with or without agoraphobia. 20 subjects completed the double-blind controlled random order crossover study of four weeks of inositol up to 18 grams a day. So 18 grams is actually quite a bit. And four weeks of fluvox fluvoxamine up to 150 milligrams a day. Frequency of panic attacks per week from baseline to endpoint decreased. In the inositol group, fluvoxamine decreased weekly panic attacks as well. So there was actually a greater decrease in the panic attacks among those who took the inositol versus the fluvoxamine, which is an antidepressant. So the two treatments were considered equally effective at reducing Hamilton anxiety scores, agoraphobia scores, and clinical global impression of severity scores. So these are all just different measures of anxiety. So the dose recommended for anxiety and depression is well above what is in the supplements. So I actually have a bottle of supplements for inositol um, that I bought. I thought I'd give it a try just because uh, you know, I'm always looking for things that maybe help boost mood a little bit. Um, but the the supplements come in 500 milligrams. I think you can probably find them in one gram uh, supplements as well. But in this study, you know, it's up to 18 grams a day. So, like, that is a lot of inositol. So, I mean, I'd have to take almost 40 40 of those capsules a day to get up to 18 grams so you may need a lot um, I don't know this is definitely something you would want to do with the supervision of your doctor uh, if you want to take more than the regular supplement of you know about 500 milligrams to one gram so some of the studies actually indicated that inositol helped but it didn't help more than uh, like the treatments that we already have for depression and anxiety so if, if you had trouble with, you know, antidepressants before, you might have trouble again with inositol. But again, I still think that, like, it's something that's worth looking into. Um, I'm going to link all the studies that I have down below so that you can check it out for yourself. And remember that each person is individual and your treatment plan is going to need to be tailored to you. So maybe that involves something like taking inositol or, you know, L-methylfolate or maybe an amino acid, or something on top of uh, uh, taking your antidepressant or other medications to really help you get and reach that point of, of I don't want to say normalcy, but that point of, of effective functioning for your mind. So inositol is cheap, has few side effects, so really something that you can look, look for and use. Uh, I'm pretty sure it, it mixes well with medications. Uh, again, ask your doctor about that. Thanks so much for watching this video about inositol. If you enjoyed it, please like the video. And if you want to see more videos about treatments for uh, all kinds of mental health disorders, please, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, 
we do our best to help spread messages of inspiration and hope and education about medications and all kinds of mental health. And thank you so much for watching.